today I was so um, I was so shocked that I went to this, the, the grocery stores. I went to three different grocery stores and I was so impressed that everybody was there, like the whole city was there. There was like aisles completely empty, um, couldn't find toilet paper and, and then some other products. Um, in, in the middle of, you know, chaos, in the middle of this coronavirus, uh, issue, everybody's panic. Uh, I don't agree with the panic thing. I don't agree that you have to, you know, think you're going to die, you know, everybody's going to die. I don't like this, this vibe, but I also understand how important it is to, um, to prepare yourself. Uh, and how important it is to prevent um, so you don't spread to the other people if you get sick for any reason. Um, but I, I, so I went with my husband to do, you know, our uh, groceries um, shopping to prepare for it if we need to stay at home. And not only if we need to stay at home, but also, uh, you know, everybody's doing it. So we might need food and then if we don't go and do it and prepare in advance, we might not gonna find it. So uh, I was at the stores and I was so impressed seeing people starting food they're not healthy. And food, they're going to make you more sick than never. Food, they're not going to help you if you get sick or Food then not going to help you to prevent you not getting sick. So that's why I decided to create this video. That's why it's a really, really simple video. I'm just creating, you know, in the end of the day in my office, no makeup, nothing special. But I decided to create this, this uh, video with tips. I like wrote these tips on a piece of post, post it um, because I really, I was really like willing to share uh, some tips to help you uh, Even if you think it's, it's too late. It's not too late to go and do your groceries to do um, You know your, your storage for you know to prepare for it. So I decided to create you know these really uh, Quick tips. So it's about 10 tips and I really want you to pay attention to it and Let's go. Oh, oh, yeah, and the first my name is Rita Avalar uh, I'm a health coach and healthy lifestyle expert with a Brazilian flair because I'm from Brazil, but I live here in the US. So let's go. Let's do it. Um, okay. So the first tip is, I know it's hard to think about how long that, how long you're going to stay home or how long you need to stay home or how long um, you're going to work from home or we don't know. We don't know. We have no idea. But uh, when I did my groceries, I thought about four weeks. Uh, having four weeks of food is like the base for me because in four weeks, there's a lot of things can happen, okay? So I thought about four weeks. So think about how long you need to, to, uh, uh, to make your, your storage at home. Uh, four weeks, I think, is, is a good time. Uh, number two, tip number two. In this moment, don't like be so obsessed with the diet you follow. For example, if you follow like a low carb diet, paleo diet, oh, I have to have this, 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 this product. This time you might not find the products you need for your diet. So try to stick to the basics. And especially if you, if you, if you have a partner, you have, you know, have a family, you have people living with you and everybody's in a different diet. And if you want to, you know, have everybody like doing uh, different diets and different products, you might be like kind of confused. So try to stick to the basics. So there's the, the three main macronutrients, which is the carbs, protein, and fat. So try to find um, uh, food that is as, you know, that can, the, the, there are carbs, protein, and fats. They're in a, in a good source of carbs, protein, and fats. Uh, of course, like for example, if you do a low carb and you need more 
protein and fats, you can buy more protein and fats, but don't be so strict to like, oh, I just need to buy this type of food or this type of product because it might be kind of hard. So just think about what is healthy for you in general and for your family, okay? Uh, tip number three, water. Um, if you don't have a special filter, I, I have a filter that you, you can filter any type of water anytime. So I'm uh, not to worry about water, but if you don't have any, a filter, you have to think about water. Unfortunately, you maybe have to store water somehow. So this is a really important thing. Um, so find a way how to do that because it's really, really important to have clean water. Okay, um, tip number four. Um, I have some people asking me, how can I freeze um, some food and how, um, and what kind of food can I, can I freeze? Can, what kind of foods can I put in the freezer? So basically, uh, the rule is you can freeze everything. That's the rule. The only thing you cannot freeze and not recommend is to freeze is like, you know, cheeses and creams. Um, base it on, 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 on milk um, because when you're gonna you know uh, you when you're gonna use it you have to warm up and then it's not gonna be good for you so basically creams and cheeses you cannot freeze but everything else you can freeze you can even like get the garlic and peel off chop it like onion the same thing same thing peel off and chop it and, and freeze uh, vegetables, fruits, um, meat, you know, basically everything. So uh, as much as you can, try to freeze because that way we will last longer. Uh, and even like the fresh fruits and vegetables, uh, if you're not going to use right away, like, like I, I said in the beginning of the video, the tip number one, think about this time, um, this time that you need food. So if you need a month, you're going you're gonna to have to freeze a lot of things so figure out uh, what kind of things you can you need to freeze but basically everything except the creams and cheeses uh, tip number five um, besides you know the things that you like to eat besides the things that you, your family like likes to eat or uh, and the things that is important for you uh, for some reason to eat I listed some of the the, the food that you, you must have during this time of you know flus uh, so um i made a list of things that you uh should have during this time of flus uh because they're going to help you uh, boost your immune system um and it's good to have during this time so the first ones are the onion the these two ones onions and garlic uh they're good to you know cook your food but also garlic is just an amazing, amazing natural medicine, you know, for flus, for infections, uh, bacteria. Garlic is just amazing, raw garlic. So have uh, onions and garlic, especially garlic. Um, another thing is having ginger. Uh, you can have a uh, fresh ginger, but also you can have ginger in powder, which is really, really good. You can make teas uh, with it. You can use in your food. Um, it's, it's really good, it's good for sore throat, so amazing to have. As well, these two next ones that together with ginger can make a, a powerful tea for pains and, and flus and all this virus, uh, which is lemon and honey. Uh, honey is amazing because, you know, it never, it lasts forever. It never expires, so, expires, so you, you can have like tons of honey and fine. And honey you can use uh, to sweeten also your food if you want to make like a dessert then we're going to talk about this soon uh, but it's also really really good to boost your immune system uh, another thing that you, you need to have is bone bone broth you can have bone broth like liquid one that you you buy and then you can keep in your pantry and it's fine if you open you have to put it in the, in the fridge but if you don't open you can put it in the pantry uh, but also you can use the bone broth in powder uh, to make smoothies or even make, you know, use it as, in soup, just have to mix with water. It's important to have bone broth, I uh, like chicken bone broth, uh, beef bone broth, to also uh, make the best medicine, best, the best natural medicine ever, which is the chicken soup that I have, the recipe that I'm sharing here below. 
just go to my blog and check the recipe. But if you don't eat meat, uh, try to have a uh, veggie uh, uh, broth. So we can use in soups and soups are really, really good uh, to cure, um, you know, from, from flus and other uh, uh, diseases, um, especially the chicken soup. But if, you don't, if you're vegan, if for any reason, have the veggie uh, broth is important. Um, another thing is apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar, it's just an, another natural uh, medicine. It's really good for sore throat and infections, and it's really good to have. So have it, um, please. It's really, really important. Also, um, you know, good oils. So you can cook your food. So cook in oil, olive oil. Uh, of course, if, if you don't have any issue with butter uh, or ghee butter, have it. Also, you're gonna cook with it, but also the oils are really important. Another good, a good um, uh, micronutrients, the fats. Uh, nuts, they also give you a lot of good energy, um, and they're amazing, good source of fats. So, and also it's good to to boost your immune system. Um, let me see if I'm missing it. Oh, carrots, because I'm talking about the chicken soup. So don't forget to have. Carrots, because this is important of this blend of the chicken soup. You're gonna, when you look my recipe, my favorite recipe of chicken soup, which is in my blog to help you boost your immune system, uh, you need to use carrots. So this is one, one of the, my my favorite um, uh, food to, you know, to have it. They're easy to find. Of course, you can add other things like turmeric. It's um, just gray, echinacea, elderberry, you can have all that, but these are like really basic things uh, that you have to have it, okay? Um, another tip is uh, try to avoid dairy during this time. And when I say dairy, I say more like milk and, you know, white cheese, like cottage cheese, ricotta cheese, um, because they create more mucus. And if you get sick, or, you know, if you're trying to avoid to get sick, they create mucus, so it's not good. But if you really want to like a cheese, try to find like a Parmesan cheese, like hard cheeses, sour cheeses. They're good. Uh, they don't, don't, don't have, they don't have like a lot of um, lactose. They still can create mucus, but it's a little bit less. Um, but try to avoid. And instead of milk, if you, if you drink, you still drink cow's milk, try to use like a veggie milk, especially Coconut milk, coconut milk. You can find coconut milks, the, the they're uh, the thick ones, the full fat ones that you can use also for some meals and prepare uh, some desserts too. So it's good to have them. Uh, another tip is about cravings. I've seen a lot of people today buying ice creams, tons of sodas. Um, even like uh, alcohol, like people are think they're gonna stay at home, they're gonna exercise less, you know, they're going to, they're not going out as much, so they're not gonna have like a sunlight. So it's easier to get sicker with tons of sugar, you know, and less exercise and less sun. So please don't buy, don't buy sugar or anything sugary. And one of the things, the things you, you can do is go to my blog, I'm gonna put the link to, and check out the recipes for my healthy desserts. And what are you gonna need for healthy desserts? You need to have like a, a healthy sweetener that you can use the honey, or you can use coconut uh, sugar, which is a syrup sugar, but it's better than, you know, the like uh, processed white sugar. Uh, you're gonna need a good fat, like I already mentioned here, coconut oil, olive oil, butter. Uh, and then you're gonna need healthy uh, flour. So almond flours, coconut flours, tapioca flour, and um, uh, oat flour. And then if you have all these, you already can make a cake. Um, you can add some dark chocolate, you know, banana, and make a banana cake. So go to my, my blog, this link here, check the recipes and check what you need. But basically, this is what you're gonna need. Uh, and avoid buying, you know, this kind of sugary, bad food for you. Because again, sugar is going to decrease your immune system and then you're gonna get sick. So don't buy sugar. And please avoid alcohol during this time too. 
Um, and one more tip is about cans. Uh, I was trying to avoid as much as I can the cans, but the thing is, sometimes you just have it. And what my tip about can is first, try to find a BPA free one. That's a good thing. And another thing is, uh, try to find it organic as much as possible. You know, the, 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 you know, whatever you're buying, like carrots or green beans, organic as possible and avoid the cans with, uh, added salt. That's the good thing. Okay. And my last tip is about supplements. I already have a post about my favorite supplements for to boost your immune system. You just go here below and check the, the, the ones, but like vitamin C, vitamin D3, zinc. Uh, so it's good to have those two storage. I know they're not food, but it's good to have them too. So it's really good. So, okay. So I hope you love it. You know, these tips, if you like it, share with someone that needs, uh, like this video, share, and comment if you have any doubts, if you have any questions. And also, I'm preparing a special uh, guide for you to boost your immune system. So if you want to be part of it, just go below. There's a link below. Go. Uh, and if you want to be part, it's going to be a, a series of videos and exercise and recipes. A special thing to boost your immune system during this time. So go down here and check it out. And that's it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.